Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Following on from yesterday's review of the uh, Pose Skeleton Komodo Dragon, which I will stick in suggested videos somewhere, which is really quite cool. I do like that a lot. And that followed on from the uh, Crocodile, which is huge in comparison. Uh, today, and again, that will be in suggested videos. Today, I'm going to be looking at, and I'll compare to those two in a minute, the um, Giant Salamander. I've seen one of these, or two of these, one of these in a uh, tank in an aquarium here in China. It's a big beast, like a big newt, <laughs> a big salamander. Looks very, very cool. Uh, amphibious, rather cool. Uh, this is a lot smaller than both the Komodo dragon and the crocodile, as you can see. It also comes with two skeleton frogs, which is nice. Um, just shows the tickulation, it's got... I think it's jaw, neck, shoulder on the front, shoulder on the back, and one joint it looks like in the spine. Let's have a look. Actually, it's like one giant frog and one lizard skeleton, little ones in there as well. Let's see what this is about. Now, this post skeleton stuff is really quite cool. They do some figures like um, skeleton humans and like a little demon with skeleton wings as well. Skeleton Dean, which is really quite cool. I, if I've got those, I'll stick them to just the videos too. Um, but they are a bit small on the 118 scale side, but they are nice nonetheless. Great for customs and relatively cheap, depending on where you buy them from. You buy them on eBay or something like that, you might pay a bit. So it shows here the crocodile, the Komodo dragon, the tortoise, which I reviewed and you can find. I'll stick in just the videos if I have space. And then just the word articulation points are on, a salam on the salamander. So it looks like there is jaw, neck, shoulder, shoulder. What's that? Back, back, hip, hip, and maybe tail. Okay, let's see. So we have the frog, that is pretty cool. That looks like his leg is bent out of shape. We have our salamander and we have here, I think it's a lizard. Or maybe it's a rat. It looks more like a rat or maybe, but. Okay, I am gonna get a, uh... there we go. It says styles because it's pretty cool. A little black book and you can get more of a uh... Better contrast and see here. And then you have the frog. But that one leg is really, really, it's like it's really bent to the side, you can see. Let me look at the picture on that box again. All right, on the box, the frog's legs aren't that bad. It looks like it's bent out of shape, maybe. Um, but it's no, not jointed, so if I move it back, it may snap. I could hot water treat that because it doesn't sit very nicely, but I could keep it as it is. And then this one, which is a... It could be a lizard or a rat. I think it's... Let me look at the... Uh, See, the posture and the legs look like it's a mammal, look more like a lizard, maybe. Sorry, like a rat, not a lizard. Yeah, I think that's maybe a rat. It could be a cat, but I think it's more rat-like. We can see the... Oh, hello. Okay, now we have the salamander. Very, very nice looking. So we do have, yeah, there's jaw articulation. The head can move up and down. If you move the joint around, you should be able to get a more of a side to side. There we go. Then I'll get more side to side in the uh, head. Uh, there should be shoulder articulation. So the shoulders can come just forwards and backwards. Same on the back legs, just like that. Uh, there is 
two joints on the sp on the spine to get some movement and also there is a joint on the tail for up and down so you can no this one's very hard to turn if you can turn it you better get side to side instead but i think you don't need side to side on that one very simple but very effective uh for scale wise let me use a star wars the vintage collection because they're quite small and you see that it's about the same height as zora bliss here or billis uh if i use an acid rain world he's obviously a lot bigger but it still scales quite well uh if i use one of these epoch skull mechs and i've got aim inside there from fortnite again you can see the scale pretty cool okay so if we compare it to our others crocodile which is obviously huge in comparison komodo dragon which is a lot bigger than the uh Salamander, but obviously a lot smaller than the crocodile. And then we have our giant salamander. These are very, very cool little toys. So good for doing your dioramas. If you want to get cheap skulls, you can get them cheap uh, for customization sort of trophies or hang on the shoulders and stuff. These are good to get as, as well very very nice i do like post a lot i've got one more which i'll be reviewing tomorrow it's one of their dinosaur ones uh, i haven't i've only got this one out of the dinosaurs for post skeleton this is the uh what is this the petra anodon like a flying former flying dinosaur skeleton there they do have a t-rex do have a brontosaurus an ankylosaurus a pachycephalosaurus uh, Triceratops, the Stegosaurus, but the thing is, they scale way too small. But this one looks like a good scale for 118. Uh, I may get some others of the dinosaurs if if I think so, if I if they take my liking. But it's really quite small. They look like the T Rex would work better for 124 or 128 as opposed to 18. Okay, very very nice. I do like these. I do recommend them too. Even just for dioramas or background figures, you just have to ink them or you can paint, paint them in a, like a dark, spray them in like a black and dry brush and a bone color. And then just the tips and the very lightly in a dry brush and a white and it looks so cool and ink it on top. Very, very nice figures. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. And again, I do recommend these post skeleton stuff. This is awesome action toys. I am signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe i'll be back soon and more awesome actual videos for you stay happy keep collecting okay bye bye